Now, the thing is, the use of two of, of counter-rotating magnetic fields is something that Tesla was working on because then you start creating what's called a zero a zero vector energy. You've got one rotating field in one spiral and another rotating field in another spiral. And folks, that's what the portals use. You have one rotating energetic field in one sense and then a counter-rotating field. Some people call it the male and the female principle. And that's what happens at all these gates and portals all across the world. And in Ireland, the feminine side of that, the so-called feminine force field was destroyed so that these portals are permanently imbalanced from our side which means we can't get in but th whatever's on the other side can get in and, and operate those portals and that's, that's what the whole point about the energy systems about the church they stuck these churches and then again the, you know when the Spanish invaded uh, South America the first thing they went for are the, were the sacred geometry zones and sites destroyed them took down the pyramids destroyed the structures there and stuck churches on them and then the congregation would come in there, they would get mind programmed, the psyche energy from that would then be pumped into the earth grid as this g global process of destroying the energetic living life force of Mother Nature itself on this planet. Because that's the one thing these creatures can't master. So they're toxifying it. They're going in, doing certain things, do what they can to toxify the actual living energetic field of the earth itself. Because it's that living energetic field that sustains our physical bodies. So ultimately, by desert, by destroying the planet and creating it into a desert or a wilderness where no life as we know it will survive, these creatures can then basically then endure their real, their true form. At the moment, the only function, the only way they can function is to inhabit human-hosted bodies, and the first types of bodies they can inhabit. Uh, were the uh, Indian bodies, that's to say the, um, the, the, the human bioframe that we would know as the Indian races in India. Um, they've subsequently been able to, to get into the, uh, the so-called Caucasian bioframe and use that. And then they, they created that and they designated that their particular clan as the Jews. So the point is, if you're a Jew, you're being conned. Everybody's being conned in this. Now, the thing about this is that um, if they have then got themselves into a bit of a trap, they are deliberately engineering a situation where the human soul, when it goes into a baby, is sabotaged. They're sabotaging the talented individual but human bioframe. But they've. it's a bit like... When you're sitting on a tree and you're cutting the branch off, you realize you're on the wrong side of the, of the, of the saw. Oh. They are now in a situation when they do the reincarnation process, they're going to end up incarnating into the faulty human bioframes that they've toxically programmed and, and corrupted. Because they are totally terrified of basically shooting themselves in the foot, they have to prevent themselves from reincarnating. So the only way they can do that is to keep their energetic uh, bioenergy signature in this dimensional reality, which means they have to create cyborg robots because they right. have to create a, 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 a and this is what this is the very thing that Kathy Morgan discovered. You're dealing with a bunch of people who are working with the first computers, and for instance. They were working with, uh, you know, when somebody loses a leg, the brain still thinks that they've got a limb. Oh. You know that? Well, what they wanted was they wanted to have human brains which still thought they had a limb. But if they could master that and work it with computers, they could then put a, a so-called human brain or a human bioorganism or head into a machine. But the being inside the machine would still think it's living in a living body, even though it's operating in a bloody as a cyborg. Do you understand oh. that? Yeah, that's Do you disgusting. understand the concept? Now, this is something they were working at in the 1940s in England. So the point was, by creating cyborgs, they could create beings which had the strength and power of a mechanically or biomechanically reproductive um, body, but from its perspective inside this thing, it would think it's actually as human as everybody else. And this is what the 2045 agenda is. Uh, and that's uh, promoted by Russian, American, and other global scientists. 
to push a human consciousness into a physical, biological um, cyborg unit by the year 2045. Now, that's less than 30 years away, folks, okay? Now, the thing about that is there's some interviews on this on uh, Russia Today, and the guy they were using was a bit of a stool pigeon guy, a bit of a, 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 front, a front guy, who was talking and explaining this in Russian. Now, the thing about it is he looks so like James Caspel. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so the, the thing about this is that this is a real and current danger. We've got one generation left of humans before they they get this cyborg. Once they get the cyborg unit working and they've got consciousness working effectively and properly in these cyborg units, there is no further need for any biological uh, uh, system on earth to sustain life here can you get that folks we've got 30 years left before they perfect this and they will no longer need an oxygen based biological earth system here on this planet this planet like venus will be toast okay so we have got to bring the feminine back into balance. We've got to realize we have got a virus within our system. And describing it as a, as a consciousness virus is a way of basically realizing we've got an infected global population with this stuff. In other words, the aliens look just like us. They've got a virus. If we call it a virus, then we can just think about how that virus works. A virus takes over cells. It gets the cells to manufacture further viruses which propagate to sustain and make the virus work. That's effectively what this AI black goo has done. And it's doing it to us right now. And we have got enough people and I beginning to wake up to see what the problem is. Thanks to Kathy's work and some of the others, we can see this in plain sight that we are Globally, there is not a single human being of any race, any creed, any belief system which is going to get away from this. That we are on a terminal phase of physical existence here. And if we don't wake up and sort this problem and deal with this so-called virus, we're finished. Or at best, we'll end up as some kind of reduced mindset cyborg within a mechanical device and that's what Doctor Who and the Daleks was telling us in 1963 the, the BBC was whistleblowing on this with that the Daleks were a man-made creature stuck into a cyborg body of total evil that was taking over the planet and Arthur C. Clarke even wrote a book about this and that's what's happening how do you mean that the how how do you mean the aliens are like us because they're in the um, they're in the they inhabit dimension. Hum, they inhabit human cyber, human uh, human bodies right and this is something that Winston Keats found out he he was encoding he was uh, encrypting an acoustic wave into CDs so you couldn't copy them and he actually played this this was a this was a thing that the music industry was was would be in it to realize the digital domain once you make cds people can copy the cds and what he did was he did a a, a right once copy never uh in, acoustic encryption into the audio of the of the wave of, of the audio waveform which means you could play it and it was be and it would be fine if you copied it there would be a corruption of the acoustic wave which would create a, such a noise you couldn't listen to it now the mm -hmm. point was in the raw state when he played this at the, with the record executives, he could see there were four or five people in the boardroom who couldn't stand this noise because they weren't human. Mm -hmm. Because this noise only worked on the human uh, acoustic, psychoacoustic uh, perception of sound. I mean, mm -hmm. tell, people have got to understand, folks have got to understand that television and, and sound broad, digital sound broadcasting only works because they've taken what the human eye has a certain response and so the colors you see on a television screen are only designed for humans to watch it if you've got a non-human uh, perception range you will see pictures which are completely unwatchable because in order to minimize the amount of information you transmit to make it worthwhile to actually 
possible to actually transmit a color TV signal, they 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 map the the way the eye's response to color is in the same way that the sound waves went on an MP3 file is mapped on the way that the human hearing response works. But if you don't have a human hearing range, you're going to hear something completely different, which is in, on, inaudible, it's appalling. And that's how we discovered that there were executives in the music industry sitting on the board who were not human. Oh. And of course, nowadays people know and understand that uh, here in London, there's uh, there are people. You know, when you make a record, you make a, a, a digital a song, it goes to a couple of production houses, which add a whole pile of subliminal signals and and uh, and subtones into the music, so that when they play them on the radio and stuff, you hear all this stuff. It's really very much like the they live situation, oh. where there was, there is on one level a a. Um, a, a, a front a front image or a front sound that you hear, but underneath that there's a whole pile of other stuff for controlling your psychoacoustic mind and uh, in, in <coughs> mind, mind control. It's like so, it's like when I went to see um, Greer, he's got that sound that yeah. I don't know why he played it. He said it was an alien um, sound. Listen to it, everybody. It's from an alien, and um, it literally. I I went to go because I didn't like it. It was kind of like getting inside my ears right inside and then it kind of came down my body to my um chest and it was almost like it was going round and round it started to sort of burrow into my chest and then went round and round like a kind of a a bra strap round you and it made me not able to get up it was horrible and then it stayed with me for quite a few days you know so there there, i know there's a sound the sound weapons and there's all sorts of things going on we, we feel i just can't help but feel we're a little bit like um guinea pigs in cages they can do what the hell they like to you well know? that's exactly what they're doing and they set it up in the in the minister the various ministries in, in england were set up oh. to actually do that and to herd us into a herd that's why they call uh, housing estates estates because these landowners would actually build houses on their land in their estate and then those particular the population in those estates would be treated as a herd. They'd be treated in uh, subtle ways. I mean, this mind control and, and population management goes right down. It's micromanaged to villages and certain towns. And when they gave the free milk in, in the UK, they gave milk to the kids. They got a free third of a pint of milk. Well, in certain schools, those the, the milk would have different chemicals in them or they'd pull certain vitamins out of those uh, out of that milk so that the kids were actually getting starved of certain nutrients and then they were actually they were micromanaging this in different areas of society right across England and a lot of this was based in Bath and that's where Richard Dolan uh, somebody t- explained well this is where a- a- Angela Power Disney you know that's where she was uh, in a, a base a secret base here in England near Bath mm. and Kathy Morgan did a whole lot of work on the, the area in Bath Near, near Bristol. Uh, again, that's where the, the, the headquarters of the British slave trade was in Bristol. Well, so, it's interesting. It's interesting you say about the um, herds because John Irwin and I have been talking a lot and he keeps sending me these videos about, um, you know, the um, Syrian migrants running into European towns. And there's a little town yeah. in Germany where they they said they were going to get 500. I think they've only got a small population, this little town. And um, they, I think they've got something like 5,000 there. And they yeah. can't even go out of their houses. They're so afraid. And, you know, it's happening at a town near us at the moment. And, they, you know, it, it's it's really, really scary. And well, Merkel was saying yeah. to the people, oh, you know, our, our way of life has changed now. You know, what a cheek that now, you know, the rulers now say your way of life has changed. Like we're these little kind of um, white rats that are going to be experimented on. Oh, now we've got the brown rats going in and they're, you know, all going to mix together and you just got to suck that, you know? What the hell well, is that? Bit, no, but this is a destruction of human beings and this is a plan and they have announced this and the thing is they, they yeah. use, you, just, they yeah. use, you yeah. see, you see the, the thing about the Jews is they think every one of these social groups think they're right, they're going to get away with it. The Masons, the Jews, the Catholics, yeah. the Protestants, yeah. the whatever, mm-hmm. the Muslims, they're right. They're going to get away with it. No, folks, you're all in this. You're okay. all going to hell in a handbasket. Not yeah. one of you, no matter what group you're in, you may be a corporate yeah. leader of a major multinational corporation. You know, you're going to get away with it. Everybody else is going to get screwed, but not mm. me. Well, no, folks, yeah. a whole lot of you are going. Yeah. From it's an like external think, point oh, of view, all humanity support. is guilty on this. And they're yeah. going to have to sort the problem, sort the infection, or you're toast. 
That's what they the black goo explained to a Russian businessman, didn't explain, told him, it's here to clean up our mess. That's just in Iranian oil in a desert. It, a whole lake of it was moving by itself, and it came out. this stuff came out of the lake and surrounded this guy and told him, we are here to clean up this mess. And if you're a part of the problem, you get cleaned up with it. And right now, all humanity... I mean, we are letting this happen. We are not taking responsibility uh, for our own uh, leaders, our own corporate leaders, our own... uh, These people need arrested. Now, Kathy's information actually gets it on a paper trail. You've got names here. You've got biographical details of who took over what ministry and did what to what with what. That's on the Internet. It's not secret, although I don't know how long it's going to still be there. But this is the point. It's there. There's a paper trail and the police and the relevant intelligence agencies and the armed forces and the whole lot, but they're all infected. So somebody somehow needs to start having a, uh, a, a method of inoculating these people. Now, to some respects, some in our discussions at the weekend over the last few days, this, this, the fact that these people are actually telling us this, possibly implies that we are being inoculated from this infection by being told and exposed to this so we then develop a solution to the problem while we can develop a solution to the problem in the same way that the body develops an an immune to when you get an injection in the immune system you introduce a disease like or a dead version of the disease into the into the biological uh, system and then your your body then develops antibodies to attack that when it sees it next time so we could be in a situation where we're in an inoculation stage but we can't treat it like that we are very really we, interesting yeah so i mean we need to uh, every every single sentient person who walk, walks around in a human bio frame you are toast and these creatures have had to adopt the human bioframe in order to infect us and take control and they've got the same virus that they have brought us in the first place they've shot themselves in the foot so to speak hmm. and they're developing this emergency back door of making it making cyborgs which will get them uh, uh, out of the way although this i mean there's talk that these cyborgs are being used these super soldiers with the, all these implants kieran kieran lee perrin was it was explained to him that he is basically a soldier and that he's being used, versions of him are being used in different dimensions to fight this sort of war, whatever the hell are actually fighting other dimensions. Mm. I mean, the, the problem uh, is, was, it, it, I'm, I'm trying to boil it down to as simple as mm. possible. Mm. Well, that's interesting that you're saying that, that we might be um, in that state, you know, the inoculation state. I like that. That's interesting. That's something to um, think about. That's something that um, I, I know at the Keshe Foundation, we have a lot of answers to um, a lot of these questions, and, and I'm learning. I'm, I'm a I'm a student, so I don't I don't have a lot of the uh, you know I'm I'm not a I'm not a chemist. I'm not any of those. I'm interested. interested. I, I, I'm interested, guys. That who actually is it? I mean, you mentioned the Jews, Miles, and I said back when John Irwin he keeps sending me these really ho- horrifying, horrifying videos, and I said, "Who is it?" At the end, and he said, "Nephilim." I mean, is is that what it is? Is that the bottom line? These these Nephilim or Watchers or fallen angels? My contact, which is not John Irwin or anybody else, uh-huh. basically, he was with a whole bunch of rabbis. And they're having a they're having a talk and whatever. And he was in there for he was invited in because he was staying in a particular place and they said, Oh, oh you know, do join us. The rabbis themselves are lying to the Jewish people. This senior rabbi, this top rabbi, which all the others, all the other rabbis, oh God, what did he say? You know. Um, he explained that they are lying. The Jews the so-called Jews, we call them Jews. Jews is 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 a, is, a, is a actually the source where the Nephilim came from. Jewerin, it's 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 their location. So it's, it, everybody's been lied to here. Nobody can sit back and say I'm all right. Okay, this is a this is a top rabbi saying that they don't even tell their own flock, their own folk, what's really going on. 
The Jews failed ascension many times before as so-called whatever you want to call them Jews in the past because they concentrated on the physical 4D money, 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 property, um, wealth and, and the physical. They didn't go to a spiritual higher consciousness level and they failed ascension the first time and they're failing it this time because their own teachers and rabbis aren't telling them what's really going on. The Jews are being lied to by their own uh, Christ, by, by their own leaders, as we have been lied to by our own so-called Christian leaders, as everybody else has been lied to by their own leaders, because they all think they're going to get away with it. Well, they're not. But who, but who, who is it in? Who, who is it that's doing this to us? This parasitic AI. But I mean, who's, again, uh, who's, who's wielding that? What's the bottom line? Zero uh, ground zero evil. Well, the bottom line ground theory evil is that we're being hosted, we're being parasited, we're, we're, we're being fed off, we have a predator. But who is it? I want you to name the predator. I don't know. I don't know what the, the I mean, you can, I mean, one person calls it Satan, the devil. I mean, the, the, the Holy Catholic Church talks about, you know, Lucifer and the devil, and it is the Lucifer devil. I mean, everything is, is, is everything's a lie. We've got to work it out for ourselves. Well, go on, these, what, these, go, go these on. people, these Mark creatures, Johnson's they all way. think, they all think, we're all right, Jack, you'll go to hell in a handbasket. I hear that, but, but I'm just saying, in your experience, Miles, I know you've dug around so much, in your experience, who do you think's the ground zero? Um, can you put a label on that, you know, name the enemy, can you put a label on Colleen, that ground? Colleen made a beautiful sculpture. It was blind faith, and I think that that sculpture that you made, Colleen, absolutely nails it on the head. Oh, that we have, and Harold Kitesfailer mentioned it, something similar. This sort of black goo, or whatever it is, um, the thing that's going to get us, the bogeyman. If we look back, the bogeyman will get us. We've got to use our blind faith to move to a higher spirituality of consciousness and literally create it with our own intention. Otherwise, yeah. Yes, the intention is everything, and and that's no matter what technology, so to speak, works. The technology is within us. You know what I mean, Miles? Like that that that's the that's the thing that I'm finding the most about um, all of this is that that intention. <laughs> we have to have that intention of of a of a good heart when we're coming towards anything. And you have to keep moving. You can't lie stagnant. And that's what that piece, the blind faith piece, speaks the most to me about. Is just that you you can't just sit st- sit there and say, well, somebody's going to come and rescue me at some point. Because that's just not happening. You have to get up and do something for yourself. Yes. Mm. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, the aliens are going to come down and, and help us. Or, you know, God's going to come down and help us. And as Urban or people have explained, the God things are... Comp- See, the whole thing about the God thing and the Holy Father and the Holy Mother is it's just a recreation of your parents. Uh, you know, you, you know, Mummy and Daddy has got to help me out of this. No, you've got to grow up as children, work things out, and move on to a higher level of existence. Otherwise... Yeah. You're gonna be got by the bad guy. Yes. <laughs> I know? just, I just wanted, I, I just wanted us to, um, to name the bad guy. You know, I was gonna have, um, I was gonna have um, E. A. Keating on the show, and he was gonna be on this Thursday, and it seems his PA has um, got it wrong, and he can only come on in three weeks' time. And he's doing these portals. He um, says he contacted Azazel, which is one of the watchers, and he said it in such a way that I believe it so is it it doesn't seem like it is these entities that are um attacking us it seems like something else right maybe i'm wrong hello yeah well i was waiting for colleen because oh okay you should explain what your sculpture is about because i mean this is why i i i I want to do basis arts because the, the expression through art is so wonderful and so how is that? Explain to me. Explain to me. I, I love Colleen's work. I'm trying to flick through her book now to find Blind Faith. I don't know what what page it's on. But how is that? 
um how does that mean surely that's about god so i i want to name the no um, i see the problem about god is it's the christian the christian god is a vengeful god that's going to kill you if you don't do what it says uh, it's, right. it's one of the most evil concepts if you don't do what i say you're going to be you know burned alive in the hell, fires of hell you know mm-hmm. if you want if you want if you want a proper god speak you know come to northern ireland where the where the evil you know, gets shouted at every weekend and everybody goes back who you know they're scared you know Drive mm-hmm. the flock, the flock, you know, the flock, the herd. Mm-hmm. It's about herding humanity. It's not about wisdom and, <clears throat> and, and higher consciousness and, and being spiritual. It's nothing to do with it. It's about control and fear and anger and hate. And that's all you get from the idiots. And I don't want to mention it. I've had enough. Yeah, but I still, I still don't get who, who I, I just want to name my enemy so I can research them and um, find well, out. Well, it's what not in the name. I mean, I mean, what one. This is the thing. I mean, Ir- Ir- the only reason I keep I mention Irwin is because he's in the, in our present company. He's the only one who's been through the death process. I don't know how many dozen times. Seen there, done it, got the T-shirt. Uh, but th- the thing the thing is that so many of these belief systems involves a threat. If you don't do what we say, this will happen. And uh, they they have taken over a spirituality and made it into a hurting, uh, vengeful uh, evil, frankly. Hmm. And, and is it the fall? Is is it is it is it the fallen angels are doing that? Is it them? Well, whatever. You see, I mean, one mercy. You see, who are the fallen angels? I mean, this is the thing about you got the AI or Black Goo is a, is a modern version of it. You got aliens. You got Dracos. You got bad guys. You got Greys. You got all this. The, the, some people call them demons. You got you got good angels, bad angels. The jinn, you know, the jinn is just an eastern term for the ancient energetic civilizations on Earth. Before there's, there's, a massive, there's a massive cast of characters, isn't there? There's, there's a, a massive mass- cast of characters, and as I mean, as John Lear says, when you die, you can either go to the light or or the great pumpkin or whatever you actually believe in. That's the thing that brings you to to your whatever happens when you die. And the one thing that seems to be pretty certain here is that whatever these things are, have have got access and control of the human uh, life death cycle. And now we're talking about uh, the Russians are talking about controlled reincarnation. So you don't lose your memory when you reincarnate. That's one of the most important features. And there are some things on the internet about uh, how an ancient civilization here which has since been dismantled or destroyed but there are machines left over from it which no matter who you are when you come to the earth no matter what high civilization you may have come from or what your origins were it all gets stripped off you you, all your memories are wiped out and you end up being dumped here uh with you know basically with a with the same memories as everybody else and in some respects that's maybe what this earth is is about it's about no matter how high you may have been in the whatever uh, scale of things you were before, for yeah. one reason or another, you're, you've got yourself here. And you may feel you're uh, a God's gift or uh, better than somebody else, but everybody's got the same body. Everybody's got the same uh, basic limitations, but some of them don't. And some of these are the predator which hides within us. Yeah, it's like it, it, it's like um, I was watching um, all these starving children, you know, in these countries in Africa, and I was thinking about all the money that Elton John has, all the money that J.K. Rowling has. He can easily, he can easily feed them. So it's like in the Bible, it said about you know you can't reach the higher heavens um, if you've got money, if you're rich, and I kind of understand that. And I think the message of Christ was not that you know, oh, I'm the son of God and follow me, but just become as him and then you kind of rise higher and you get out of this area, which is um, pre- pretty much controlled by a, that that kind of dark kind of energy. So maybe it's just that. Maybe maybe it's us. Maybe it's humanity's um, fungus-type energy that's grown. It's nothing to do with the goddamn fallen angels. We, well, it's, we're it's, own. it's down to whatever you do with that money. You can't take it with you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, if well, you achieve people, some wealth, yeah, it's, yeah. it's what you do with that wealth. Uh, and in, in some respects, uh, I mean, if you are very rich, you can then enable things to happen 
But, I mean, when you see these starving uh, children on, on the TV, who put them there? Who, who bombed them? Who supplied the weapons? Who backed oh, them? It's, it's who disgusting. divided their countries up? I mean, it's our politicians. It's, it's, I mean, it's they, they created this. Who created ISIS? Who's created? Who's gone in there and wiped out and destroyed ancient cultures and multi-beautiful countries in the Middle East? We know who did that. We know well, who I mean, did that. And then, and then yeah. when they're driven into the streets of Germany because of what their whole lives have been destroyed and wiped out, who's actually done that? Mm -hmm. We have. We've supported these United Nations and, and these other uh, various uh, governments who've destroyed and, uh, Tony Blair. Mm. You know, I mean, uh, Obama was screaming about how, how Cameron and the French bombed the hell out of Libya, destroyed a beautiful country with an intact infrastructure, which had water, running water, high civilization, destroyed the whole lot because they decided to not back a bogeyman they put in there, who they put in there in the first place. Same with, with, with Iraq. Exactly, exactly. It is our fault. We've got to look to ourselves. And I think we do get, we do get real greedy. You know, we've got, we've got our own stuff. I mean, the amount of times I pass someone begging in the street, you know, and go and get, I don't know, a Vogue or something like that, you know, rather than doing without um, a magazine to cheer myself up. You can cheer yourself up much more by giving that money to someone begging in the goddamn street. Hey, guys, um, the show's drawing to an end now, so I'm going to... Um, say thank you very much to the um, listener my show's listener supported so you can reach me my paypal account if you want to help me stay on air is warnernews at sky.com and you can find me on facebook christine joanna hart my book is on amazon it's selling at the moment and it's called how nick davies hired me to spy on my former colleagues at the news of the world and you can reach miles johnson on also on facebook and on the basis project you can join that that's a closed group and you can get him on youtube under basis or under miles johnson and colleen i'm not sure where people can get you you've got a website haven't you Yes, I do. It's um, www.cblackstudios.com. So it's C is in Colleen, and then Black Excellent. Studios. Excellent. And I think Miles, um, if you if you hang this show on basis, you can probably um, it'll, yeah, be, it'll good. be basis fifty. And I did. Do, I have done a wonderful interview with Colleen, and she sent me some wonderful photographs and pictures of her art. And I'll be up as basis arts, Colleen Black, uh, and it's just. A, I love to use some of that imagery on, on the Basis Project website to promote uh, your work, Colleen. It's just beautiful. It's outstanding, creative, joy, and wonderful. It's just great. It's, it's a whole positive thing. And uh, there's other people coming to the project. Lloyd Canning with his work. He, he's an abductee and things. And there's another wonderful lady called Vicky Angel who paints beautiful alien landscapes. So this art is a beautiful thing unless let's, let's yeah I'd, I'd like it i i told the story of um colleen's um what she did with my son the drawing of my son when he picked the daffodils in queue so i don't know if she's got um a, a jpeg of that she can give it to you and when you hang this this show you can maybe yeah, i'll use put, I'll, one put of the I'll put your image colleen of blind faith up on this and there's a question in the thing about black goo about the tr orbital harmonic scalar stuff the, the black goo is a sentient intelligence inherent to the biological and physical functions of this earth the alien black goo that landed that was intentionally landed here comes from another uh, mathematical intelligence which looks as if it's been deliberately propagated here like a virus would be and that's what the Germans started working with in 1930 